Hello everybody, Mark G with the C back with another video. Hope you're doing well today. Today is a special day. Um, I have received something in the post um, that I wasn't wasn't ever quite sure I was going to own. Um, it is my number one Grail, um, and it's been sent to me by uh, by a good friend. Um, I'm going to show a couple of other things before my number one grail um it, it i suppose on camera it, it i've said it before in things it must come across as a bit odd because maybe i look a, a little bit underwhelmed and maybe i should be dancing around and and all sorts but it's, it's amazing i can't tell you the feeling to, to get one of your your ultimate grails the feeling inside it, it it's it's an inner excitement um but there's a part of you that's just like completely blown away flabbergasted by the fact that you know something you've been chasing for a long time um, and for whatever reasons you know it, it's either you're not quite sure if it's a bootleg or it's just too pricey um, but yeah inside I am jumping around like a 16 year old um, and I'll tell you more about that when, when we get to it anyway um, I'd done uh, a trade with um, Howard Moore Park 28 Channel Moore Park 28 um, quite a while ago now actually uh, and I've just been so busy with with other things um, I didn't forget to show them but I thought I must I must make make sure I, I show a video because I know Howard showed some of the stuff I would traded with him in a, in a past video so um, I'll show you what I got from him he had been um, back to his his old house or a previous address um, and he'd picked up some CDs he'd left behind um, to add to his collection anyway. He had a few duplicates, um, he made a video, he put it out there that he had a few that he was quite happy to, to pass on. Um, and I asked him if, if it was alright if I had, had a few of those and he was more than happy to send them. Um, so first off, Don Dockham and uh, Up From The Ashes, uh, 1990 on Geffen Records. Uh, I'm a big fan of Dokken, the band Dokken, George Lynch as a guitarist. Um, but I was I was quite blown away when I saw, obviously we've got Don Dokken here, but we've got Mickey D on drums, um, sort of lastly known for his, his drum role in Motorhead, and John Norham, and if I remember rightly, he's the original guitarist from Europe, I'm sure that's right. Um, it's an absolute cracker of an album, this. An absolute cracker. I, it's right up there with, with you know, docking. Simple as that. It's a really, really melodic, hard rock album. I was very, very impressed. I, wa I wasn't quite sure, you know, with it being sort of Don docking on his own and whether the days of docking had sort of passed by and that's why he was going solo. But this is an absolute belter. Um, so I'm very happy to have that. Uh, thank you, Howard. Also in... Um, in the CDs he had duplicates of was this a band called Departure. Now I'd never heard of these. Uh, I'll be honest. It looked very interesting. There were Doorway in the Sky, um, a 1998 release, um, and this is this is a cracker, another cracker of an album. It's um, you all know me, guys. You know I'm I'm a, an old school death metal thrash metal fan, but I, I'm I'm quite partial every now and again so a little bit of AOR, a bit of melodic hard rock and that's exactly what this is. I don't know much about this band, I've, I've tried to do a little bit of research but there doesn't seem to be a lot of information about them, everything that just keeps coming up with Journey um, and I'm not, a, I don't know a lot about Journey so I don't know whether this band sound like them or the association is just the Journey album title Departure but this is really good, really really good um, AOR, melodic, hard rock, really enjoyed it, great vocals, like I say, I don't know much about it, um, and there's not a lot out on the internet, but um, yeah, highly enjoyable. Um, next up, and this is what's playing in the background, and again, a band I was not familiar with, um, Project X and Blueprint for Excess. Uh, this is on the same record label as The Departure, um, Escape, Escape Music, yeah. 
Uh, this Project X is a 1996 release. Again, I don't really know much about it. There's a full band there, but just a picture of two guys. This guy, um, I put Don Wolf. Uh, from what I could sort of do, again, a little bit of research, um, he was his vocalist of a band called White Wolf. I'd, I've never heard of them, to be honest. Um, Departure and this band, I'm presuming, are American. But as you can hear in the background, this, this again, it's um, AOR, melodic hard rock. Um, you know those kind of albums that you hear and you know you've never heard them because you've never heard of the band, but there's something about them. It just just sounds familiar. And, and I think that's what AOR does. It's, you can almost instantly like it. Um, whether that means you can instantly dislike it in time, I, I, I'm not sure, but I've always been a massive fan of FM's Indiscreet. I think it's a great, great album. So uh, yeah, I've always got a little soft spot for AOR. Um, also in that, he added this band, this band's album, Nelson. Now, I remember about this band back in the day. Uh, what year was this? 1990. Um, I was listening to, to Thrash and Death Metal. So looking at those two dudes, this was just not on my radar at all. Uh, but but as time goes on, you know, I'm always open to listening to new stuff. And again, this is um, it's fairly decent. Um, AOR, melodic rock. Um, and what did sort of pique my interest was this dude here. If I remember rightly, that's the um, the drummer who played with Vinnie Vincent's Invasion. And I'm a and real fan of those two albums. Obviously Mark Slaughter on vocals, but um, yeah, this, this look certainly put me right off back in the day, there's no doubt about it. Um, but yeah, it's um, it, it commercial, melodic, hard rock, nothing else more to it. And finally, um, from Howard, was this um, my first Ed Guy album, I believe um, Hellfire Club. Is one of their later fifth or sixth release. Uh, German power metal, great vocals, um, some great riffs in there. Um, 2004 on Nuclear Blast. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You, you very rarely go wrong with Nuclear Blast as a label. Um, so very happy to have that as my first Ed Guy in my collection. And I'll be honest, I was always a little bit, bit put off. By, um, by the name, you know, Ed Guy. Uh, it it kind of doesn't like, sound like a serious band to me. You know, I was never quite sure if they were a, some kind of covers band. Anyway, they're not, they're really good. So that's uh, five CDs off Howard. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate that. Like I said, it's been a while since I've had them, but at least I've had a chance to have a listen to them. So this is what it all boils down to, I suppose, grail wise. Anyway, um, I'd spoken to Metal Mickey uh, not long ago um, and we've both been been picking up um, some of these Earache FDR vinyls. Uh, we'd spoken a little bit um, on Messenger about it. I'd been picking some up. The price was, it was down, you know, I think they were £10.99, all of them on, on, uh, on Amazon and we were both all over it. Anyway, um, the price has since gone back up um, to not so much a bargain price um but mike showed this in his uh, in his video that he picked up two copies by mistake um and this is one that i didn't pick up while that bargain uh, that deal was going on with amazon so i thought okay so i asked mike um i'll have it off you if you've ordered two and you, you don't want to i'll buy it off you so i bought it now i'm going to show this more in detail because over the period of the last couple of weeks, I've picked up about 10 or 11 of the Earache FDR releases. So I'm going to make a separate video showing all them. I'll open them up, I'll show you the vinyl, a few of them are coloured vinyl. So I won't bother with this now. Um, like I say, I'll make another video uh, and show all those. But um, yeah, I've been on a bit of a vinyl kick recently. Um, I've got another video, I, I, I picked up quite a few vinyls off another guy, and I, I said it in my last video, I'm sure I did. 
I've probably got about three or four videos to make and they're all going to be vinyl. I've probably got about 30 or so to, to show you that I've picked up. So, um, yeah, that's for another video. But this was inside this wrapper. This, I opened this and inside this sort of, you know, the, the sealable was this. And um, I nearly needed to ring an ambulance, to be honest with you. Um, it is Zentrix Shattered Existence OG Press from 1989 on Road Racer Records. Um, RC Records, this is the American press. Um, I have been after this CD for so long. I'm, I'm lucky enough that I own the vinyl, a signed copy. Now the reason why this, I don't really know sometimes with grails, what, what people class as that sort of their ultimate grail. Is it because it's worth an absolute fortune, if it's hard to get hold of, or if it means something to them? For me, a grail of a CD, it's maybe a little bit of all three, but more importantly, it's it's got, it contains music that means something to you. This album um, and this band, when me and my friends were getting into to, to metal and on that journey, um, and you know, into the thrash scene, this band we found out about this band. They're from a little place outside of Preston called Leyland, which isn't far from where I grew up in Blackpool probably about 20 miles away um, and we found out that this band Zentrix were playing at our local club in Blackpool it used to be called Your Father's Mustache and it, and it ended up being called Vitash great little place great venue made some of the greatest friends ever in there just just a, an absolutely amazing club anyway Zentrix playing there so we went it was our first ever gig a bunch of us, uh, me, myself, the singer from Enchantment, Paul, um, I'm sure maybe even the guitarist and the drummer, um, maybe all of us actually, I can't remember. I'm not, I don't think we were quite a full band at that point. Um, but yeah, a load of us went, our first gig, our first thrash metal gig, just loved it, loved it. And this band have always held a special place in my heart ever since then. I've been lucky enough to see them a few times over the years. Um, I was at the gig where they recorded the Dilute to Taste EP, uh, and I've told this story before, but as we as you walked in the venue, they got everyone to sign a book, and they put every single person's name who signed this book and was at the gig on the thanks list, uh, and they played songs off this and their second album. Um, and then, there was a club in, in Preston. Um, do you know? Ashamedly, I forgot the name of it, but it was closing down um, maybe sort of 10 years. Maybe, yeah, 10 years, maybe a bit less. And I believe it was one of Zentrix's first ever venues they played and they started out anyway. So they were doing a. They got together. The original band got together. Um, Chris Astley, the singer guitarist. Um, Dennis Gasser, the drummer, um, Stan, the guitarist, Stan, is it Christian Harvard, um, and the bass player, what's his name, that's going to be embarrassing if I don't remember his name, well, I don't remember it, is it McDonald, something McDonald, Macca, I want to say, I want to say Macca, Macker will do, yeah, I'm sure it is. Um, yeah, they got, they, they got the original band back together uh, and played a gig, and, and I met up with a few friends who had not seen for a long time. So it was it, it, they've just always seemed to have been around at sort of great moments in my life. Um, so this album, like I say, has a, has a massive special place in my heart. Um, and Mike, 
I can't thank you enough for that. Um, it's not it's not something that I'll, I'm ever going to forget getting this CD. Um, like I said, there's a lot of other CDs that are grails of mine, and, and I'd, li I'd like to get them because I enjoy the music, but not nothing quite as that sort of special thing um, like this does. Um, and I'm probably just waffling a little bit now, really, but this is this is like it doesn't get any better than this. You, you know, you guys out there, you know. I want to try and get this out and show you the inside of it, but. It's going to be awkward. There we go. It's coming out. I'll, I'll make sure I don't rip it. Oh my god! I need those surgeon's gloves on. So yeah, it's basic, and I've said it before with these OG presses. I kind of like that basicness. Is that a word? Basicness <laughs> doesn't sound right. That. But yeah, that's um, that's it, guys. My my ultimate grail in my possession. An OG American press of, you know, I suppose I'm telling you the story about it, but if you don't know this band, they, these are, they're a UK thrash metal band, um, very much in the sort of vein of, of Metallica, you could, you could say, but there's more to them than that. Um, just fabulous, fabulous, catchy choruses, great vocals, just great riffs. Like I say, this album... The, it's a 10 out of 10 album for me, this. It really is. Um, but, you know, I've told you the story, how much uh, how much it means and sort of the, the history we have going back. Uh, and as it as it turns out, actually, one of my friends, um, Lee Andrew, um, his wife, Emma, well, she's a friend of mine as well. Um, I believe one of her friends is the wife of Dennis Gasser. Um, so I think he's he's sort of involved in their circle of friends, which is kind of cool, isn't it? But yeah, this is it, guys. Zentric, Shattered Existence. That is my number one grail. Metal Mickey, you are a legend, an absolute legend. Thank you so much. Um, to find that wrapped up inside a Morbid Angel vinyl is just... Um, it's just mind blowing, it really is mind blowing. Um, I appreciate it, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Before I just go on anymore, um, for no reason whatsoever, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate uh, every single one of you taking the time to watch my videos and comment, all my subscribers, um, this community. That we're involved in is just an amazing place some amazing amazing people spreading some amazing amazing music between each other's um it's fabulous absolutely fabulous thank you everybody take care until i speak to you again all the best